So, Ozzy, how does it feel after three seasons playing and you won fan favorite? Oh, it feels amazing. It's just, I feel, I just feel loved. You know, I feel a lot of love. And I, I the only thing that could make it any better is, you know, winning a million dollars and, and, and really just winning the game. I've, I've come so close uh, two times. And I feel like I, I really encapsulate a lot of what Survivor is all about. Um, you absolutely do. You are have always been our most downloaded interview when we interviewed you for Micronesia. So the, your popularity just has sustained all the way through, even when you're not playing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really been a lot of fun. And I really just, I, I wanted to really embrace the gift that is being able to go on to Survivor. And, you know, this time was such a different experience and I really just wanted to play from a, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to play with fear. I wanted to play a different game. I wanted to be really courageous. I wanted to play for my team. I wanted to play for my tribe. I wanted to just play a crazy game. I wanted to do moves that, that would be seen as, uh, as strategic moves and would, would hopefully get me to the end so that I could win. And, you know, and they will the, be talking about for years, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, and being voted out three times was really surreal. I said that. And, uh, you know, going going through that whole process and, you know, the very last the very last vote out when the jury clapped for me and uh, it gave me such an amazing feeling. And I I don't want to say it's better than the million dollars, but in a way it is, you know, having the love of, of millions of people. Um, in the U.S. or millions of people that are watching Survivor, having that love just, just coming at me from all angles, it's just, it's just such an incredible feeling. I mean, I've never felt anything like it, and it makes me want to do more things like that. I want to, I want to be able to, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to find some sort of show format that can fit my skills and my abilities that I can go out and really, the really Redemption Island show starring Ozzy. Yeah, exactly. Something <laughs> like that. You know, something where I'm adventuring around. I'm like tasting interesting food. I'm, I'm indulging in the culture and I'm doing extreme sports, you know, like skydiving or cliff diving or, you know, rock climbing or, uh, you know, motorcycle riding, all kinds of things. I mean, I, I really... I really want to be able to get out there and I love traveling, it's one of my favorite things. I love putting myself in cultures and experiences that are so incredibly different from my own that I can really, really understand the human experience a little bit better. And That's been one of the best gifts of Survivor for me is sort of living, you know, really living like a lot of people in this world live. You know, people that aren't able to get three meals a day, that people that live a subsistence diet, you know, and the fact is most of the people in this world are living that way. They're living hungry day to day. And for me to go to, to play a game really where I'm going out and I'm, I'm having to be hungry and having to find my own food and, and build my own shelters and, and really compete with other people for this, this prize is such a really interesting uh, social experiment. And I'm, I feel so blessed for, uh, to Mark Burnett and uh, Jeff Probst and you know all of the producers that gave me the opportunity in, in, in Cook Islands to go out and really live a dream of mine and that dream has changed my life and it's 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 shown me a potential inside myself that I never really knew or understand exists and it really does exist in all people um, some people have skills that, that are that are, are are different than mine but but everybody has a potential that I think they can live up to if given the opportunity. And I, I feel so blessed to have been given that opportunity to, uh, to learn about these skills that I really had no idea that I had. So who did you vote for? I voted for Sophie. Yeah, and I voted for Sophie because she beat me. That's it, huh? Excellent. Okay. That's, That's simple. It. That's honorable. It, it, you know, it, it, for me, it was that simple. Um, she played a great game, in my opinion. Um, that was just the thing that tipped my vote towards her. I really wanted to vote for Coach, and I tried to lob him my softball um, at the at the uh, tribal council. And I, I think that that if he had maybe admitted to playing with the more conscious uh, lack of uh, integrity, that he was really just playing Survivor, then I think I probably would have voted for him. But the fact is, Sophie beat me, and she is a incredible comp competitor physically and mentally 
um, I felt like I had to respect that, and I do respect that. And the fact is, you know, she's she's in med school and she wants to be a doctor and she has potential to do a lot of good in this world and I really I wanted to give her that opportunity to do that good and uh, I just yeah I just I really respect her a lot I really do could you hear the cheering of the fans out in the audience when you were back in the green room and you won the challenges I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't hear the, the no but uh, when we were behind the stage and some things happened and I heard the cheers and it it just makes me feel so good and you know the, the when Jeff announced that I won the uh, hundred thousand uh, dollar fan favorite that to me was just icing on the cake you know I honestly would play Survivor for free I really would you've told us but, that before but but you know it's nice to make a little money at the end of the day because we live in a world that we live in a world that requires money we don't live we don't live on a on a beach well not most of the time. Yeah. Sometimes I do. <laughs> well, Ozzy, you set the bar that we always measure everyone against every season when it comes to challenges, and it was fantastic to get to watch you again this season. And you took it to a place that was beyond what we had seen before again. It was amazing. Thank you. You know, I really just wanted to push the boundaries of Survivor. Survivor's been going on now for so long, and I've had the, the amazing, uh, just blessed opportunity to play three times now. But I think that there's a lot more that people can do with this game, and there's there's different there's different ways to play the game, and, and I want people to play this game without a sense of fear, and I want people to play this game with a sense of uh, courage, and really just to to try and build on top of what I've tried to do, and and, and I think that people can do it, and I, I hope that they learn some lessons from me and 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 coach and all the other people that have played this year, and I I think that. This cast was, I, I really, maybe I'm biased, but I think that this season was really incredible and really fun to watch, and there were so many cool twists and turns, and, and God, it's just so fun. It's really cool. Yeah. And, and I think your best game ever. Well, thank you very much. I hope so. That's one of the reasons why I don't know if I'll ever play again, because I don't know if I would want to top that. Yeah. Hey, when did you get the idea to get up in the tree? Oh, and, and, and be up at the very top. Did you oh, plan that before you came into no. the season, the way you were already thinking about taking advantage of Redemption Island? No, I just, when I was out on Redemption, you know, there's only so much you can do. And I explored the whole jungle. I explored the whole reef. And I get, would climb up to get coconuts all the time. And I would often climb up in the tree and just sit there and just kind of relax and just take in the incredible view. I mean, that... It's such a beautiful, beautiful place. And to not really just soak every every little last bit in so that when I'm old and gray and I'm sitting with, on a rocking chair with my grandkids, I can go back to that place where I'm sitting on top of that tree looking out at the, at the blue waters and I can tell them stories of the adventures that I've had. And they said, hey, Ozzy's climbing the, the tree, bring out the, elevate, the uh, helicopter. Exactly. Well, that, 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 that would happen. You know, I, I would give him a hint. I'd be like, hey, guys, I'm going to go sit up in the tree for a little bit. So I'd be like, okay, get the West Cam, get West Cam, West Cam. Ozzy, come on the tree. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Ozzy, what's next for you? Oh, you know, I've got, uh, got so many things on my plate. I'm, I'm uh, helping to open a restaurant later this year in Hollywood. I've, uh, I'm, I'm trying to start a brewery in Los Angeles. I've been brewing beer for three years and I love beer and I want to see some good beer culture take over Los Angeles. And uh, I uh, have my nonprofit, the Mexico Skate Project that I work hard at and I, I'm uh, you know, getting some skate parks built down in Mexico. And uh, I, hope, I hope to uh, continue just uh, inspiring people to get out and love nature. Outstanding. Thanks again, Ozzy. It was awesome watching you again. We enjoyed you so much again.